Ah, you're finally here! We've been waiting for so long! It's only been five minutes. <laughs> Since everyone's here, let's get down to business. The Astral Express just received an invitation to the Planet of Festivities. Uh, hang on. Why am I getting a sense of deja vu? Even the Planet of Festivities can't possibly hold a festival every day. Don't worry. The Express received a normal invitation this time. It's from Fenicone's Paperfold University. The university plans to hold an academic conference on the topic of trailblazing in the moment of soul. The Astral Express has been invited as guest to the conference. An academic conference? You mean we'll have to sit in an auditorium and spend several system hours talking about a few hundred slides worth of scholarly discourse? Don't worry, you can leave such boring events to the grown-ups. I will attend the conference with Welt. As for the three of you, if you're interested, you can enter the university as guest students. Well, it happens to be the start of the academic term, and Paperfold University is preparing for its Dreamlight anniversary. These annual festivities serve as both a welcoming gift for new students and a chance to celebrate for those already enrolled. Why don't you youngsters join the new students? Hmm? You could uh, explore the campus, uh, experience student life. Uh, do... do we have to study? Uh, that's great! A young, cute girl full of energy living her best life on campus? That experience is practically made for me! I hear that Paperfold University is well known throughout the universe as a top art school. <clears throat> I would love to check it out too. <sighs> Campus life. <laughs> Looks like everyone can't wait. Let's go ahead with that plan then. I will submit the admission documents to Paperfold University. We'll leave once everyone is ready. Let's all have some fun. Go check in. Himiko and Mr. Yang still have to participate in social networking. Being an adult sure is hard. Welcome to the Reverie, distinguished shareholders. Oh! I almost forgot that we're Penicone shareholders. Upon hearing the news that you were returning to Penicone, the hotel prepared six platinum guest rooms for your stay. They are ready for you anytime. Um, six? That's right. Besides the three of you, Miss Himiko and Mr. Yang, Pom Pom had already checked in three days ago. Pom Pom? What are you talking about? 
talking about? I see. We thank the family for their gracious hospitality. Please help us with the check-in. Of course. Your dreamscape passes have been activated. I hope that you have another enjoyable stay in Panacone. We didn't have an enjoyable stay the last time, though. Um, apologies for interrupting you earlier. I'm done, hon. Do you know something that we don't? Why did the front desk mention that Pom Pom is staying at the hotel, too? If my guess is correct, it's probably Boot Hill checking in under Pom Pom's name. Yes. When we worked together in Panacone the last time, he used Pom Pom's identity then, too. <sighs> He's the only one I can think of who would do that. Boot Hill? What is he doing here? I don't know. Galaxy Rangers always work alone, but I don't think Boot Hill will do anything that is uh, detrimental to the Express. Since uh, Pom Pom checked in three days ago, we can probably find him in the dream. Uh, let's get going then. A Paperfold University is located in the Moment of Soul. The hotel has set the entrance to the dream near the school. So let's meet at the gate. I'm staying in the same room as the last time I was here. <sighs> time to enter the dream. <laughs> at the lobby. Don't alarm them. I know! But that fellow was running in this direction. Oh, how did he disappear so quickly? Shh! Someone else is here. Who are you? The what express now? Don't try to sell me anything. My miserable pay can't afford to buy an express of any sorts. I don't care who you are. The Bloodhound family is investigating a case here. Please make way. Oh, wait a second. Gray hair, yellow eyes, ribbons that serve no purpose on her clothes. I think she's the major shareholder you were talking about. What? For the love of... Couldn't you have said that earlier? Ahem. <clears throat> I beg your pardon, esteemed guest. I was a bit brusque earlier. The Bloodhounds are just carrying out a routine inspection. All guest rooms and facilities are in good order. So please, be at ease and enjoy your stay. But... the suspect... You... S sustainable Ah, yes, sustainable We know frequent inspections may not seem sustainable to some, but these procedures ensure a safe and secure environment for guests, so the Bloodhounds are more than happy to do so. We'll take our leave for now. Please have a good rest. Um, please stay safe and be careful in the dream. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. Hmm. I'm confused. Maybe I should look around before I enter the dream. Thank you. 
Forgive me. Focus on your breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine an island. An island. 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 Much like a school, but it does look somewhat familiar. Oh, so what's that? may be upon us, but this majestic skyscraper shall now welcome the start of an epic hunt! Yo, yo! Under starry skies, evil low and high, helpless folk in the dark fighting for their lives. Silent ninja art written down in red tears, noble ninja hearts in the night join here. Stormy tides crashing forth, all evil flame. Come the dawn, shining sparks lighting up again. Yo, yo, Dazzling Ninja, a.k.a. Rapper, nice to meet ya. Uh, uh. Uh, ouch! Uh, what kind of devious trap is this? Not only are there feelings abound, but there are also concealed weapons flying about! Ninja. 
Ninja, a.k.a. Zappa. Be gone, feedlings, or I shall give you a taste of my dazzling ninjutsu. <laughs> Can it be? I... I am unable to communicate with these feelings. Show my strength. Some pain is inevitable if I am to ensure you regain consciousness. have been exposed. They're calling for their fellow ape feelings. Please, take cover behind me. Please, or devil. No, that's devil. There's no back now. For me or you. You need to get stronger. Harmony and you <laughs> inscriptions. Be decisive, lest we be overwhelmed by the consequences. There are still feedlings roaming nearby. Let us be on our way. Seeing monkeys and seeing ninja. Am I dreaming? You are indeed dreaming. location after touching this object. Pinacani truly is filled with boundless mysteries. Since fate saw fit to bring us together, may I know your name before we part ways? Ooh, a strong name. Well met. 
baseball bat ninja. Forgive me for speaking out of turn, Baseball Bat Ninja, but for your safety, you and your companion should leave this land of dreams as soon as possible. The appearance of these feelings are a sign of impending disaster. It is proof that the Ninja Hero's arch enemy has their eyes set on the land. The emotionless, soulless, and merciless evil Ninja Osaru! It's time for me to depart. Please do take care. Goodbye. This does look like the way out. Let's go. under the rule of a ninja hero for many generations. It was known as the Ninja Capital. Under the protection of the ninja hero, the people of the city thrived. They lived and worked in peace, and happiness could be felt even in the sewers of the ninja capital. Until an evil doer known as Eva Ninja Osaru murdered the ninja hero and laid claim to the city. The happiness of days past disappeared in an instant. Oh, child, new to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Henceforth, you shall be the successor to my dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor! Behold the city of shadow, that sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. An astounding recitation of the ninja mantra, Master Kucha. I swear I will train hard until I become the Dazzling Ninja! An admirable resolution. I do contend with the evil ninja. You will also need a new name. A name befitting a ninja. What should I be called? I don't know, my disciple. Your name will carry your ideas. Your convictions and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. So the decision is yours to make. What a baffling dream. I should now be at Paperful University, right? Monkeys and a ninja. Mm -hmm. 
that doesn't sound like something that happened in Penacone. It seems more like a dream bubble. Also a cartoon character created by the watchmaker? No, no. It only appeared recently. It's a... Uh, oh, what's it called again? A me... Uh, a meme! No one knows where it came from. It just blew up overnight. Fans made up bananas that only fellow fans would understand. And even created sticker packs and fan works. How do you know so much? Uh, from the campus group chat, of course. I joined the group before school even started, so I'd get to know more people. That's just common sense. Uh, you'll have a hard time making friends at school if you stay out of touch. Here, I'll add you two to the group. It's almost time. Let's proceed to admissions. <laughs> Come on, let's go! A spectacular campus life awaits us! Why is the family running a school in a dream anyway? Do people really come to the planet of festivities just to study? Paperfold University was established during the pioneering era. It was initially a training ground for dream weavers and was founded by Glox, head of the Nightingale family. And later on, the Iris and Alfalfa families also got involved in university operations. And the education landscape expanded into the three academies we have today. Dreamweaver, Charmony, and Fortune. From there, Paperfold University became known as the top art school in the cosmos. Paperfold University's motto is Color Your Dreams, Free Your Ideals. What we see before us reaffirms those words. Hmm. We still have some time before the anniversary celebration's opening ceremony. Let's take a look around.
students, how are you? Uh, what is... Did I scare you? Sorry, I'm Assistant Anna 416 from the Welcoming Committee. Assistant Nana? Like a teacher's assistant? It's Bananies. Students are in love with Slumber Nana Monkey right now. So our faculty did our homework and changed up our image. Banana. Why are the faculty in Paperfold University from the Sweet Dreams troupe? Most of the teachers are attending the academic conference during the school's anniversary. That's why the dean asked the Sweet Dreams troupe to be substitute teachers. Banana. Don't you worry. The banana advisors come loaded with the memories of the senior professors. Our banana academic standards remain top-notch. There's no need to worry about studies right now, though. Please enjoy the Dreamlight anniversary first. Banana. I sure will! I wasn't planning to study anyway. <laughs> That's a bold declaration. <laughs> That's all right. Paperfold University is a school of freedom. Spend your youth however you'd like. Banana Monkey's right banana, too? You could say I'm more of a fresh banana than a ripe banana. Is that a plush next to you? I bought this from the Creator's Market. Doesn't it look realistic? The booth owner said this design is especially popular and really hard to get. Nice to meet you. My name is Dan Hung. It refers to the tuning test. At the entrance ceremony, the family's members will analyze the potential of students through tuning and assign them to the appropriate academy. <laughs> Calm down. It's not a real exam. transfer to another academy. It's just that most people don't. The pressure is high, even in a dream. Not to mention competition has grown fierce ever since Panacone relaxed their entrance reviews after the place went public. Most of us are just grateful the family is willing to guide us. Uh, that's reality for you. Anyway, let's change the subject. Are you going to attend the Dean's speech? My friends and I are going to check out the Creator's Market, so I won't be joining you. They're not taking attendance anyway. See you later. Banana! 
Uh, the teachers and students here sure are <laughs> unique. No one is going to buy that. You're never afraid of anything. Oh, look at the time. The anniversary celebration's opening ceremony should be starting soon. Let's go see the Dean. Fuck. Dean is going on stage. What? No way. The Dean is... Uh... <laughs> Hello, students. Or should I say, Ben and Jor. <laughs> what is going on? Is this a gag? I'm Professor Freeman. You may also call me by my more fashionable moniker, Prof Nana. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Don't worry, students. I have not gone mad. The reason I'm appearing before you like this is to show our new students the ethos of Paperfold University. Color your dreams. Free your ideals. Ah, lovely aspiration. But I hear that the words ring hollow nowadays. The pressure of schoolwork has kept all of you from looking up at the beautiful starry sky of the dreamscape. My schedule for the semester is packed. All I do is eat, study, and sleep. It's so hard to prepare for my thesis defense. I'm stuck on my thesis. Ah. My dear students, this is not the way. This is not how youngsters in the land of the dreams should behave. So today, I bring you good news. After some discussion, the teaching research team has come to a unanimous decision to cancel all courses and exams for this semester. Everyone who attends the school anniversary will earn their credits. Yes, do not doubt your ears, young ones. Freedom. This is what Paperfold University yearns to teach you. Leave your worries over school and life behind and express yourself. Spread the love of your favorite things, such as Slumber Nana Monkey, to every corner of the campus. Welcome to the dreamlike anniversary. Color your dreams. Free your ideas. <laughs> Looks like Paperfold University is more open-minded than it almost is. But it really suits Pinkie. The tuning test is up next. Let's go. The waiting area is in the open classroom. Hmm? I think it's uh, 
<laughs> this is so embarrassing. Huh? Actors, settle down, settle down. Please, quiet down. This way, look this way, please. Get back to your seat. Turn off all recording devices. Get ready. The film is about to begin. Hello, cast members. I am your director for this exam. You may call me Mr. Wrecker. It's the name I commonly use in the end credits. Uh, Mr. Wrecker, please mind your verbiage. You're not on set. This is a classroom. No good! Cast members of the family, do remember that every man is a Remember your lines. I'm currently playing the role of a guest lecturer, and you are my students. Please stay in character. Uh, this guy looks familiar. Oh, I think I saw a picture of him in the Blue Hour. He's a really famous director, I think. Ah, Mr. Rekka. He's known for works such as Soul Shattered Dark Star, A uh, Fading Nebula and the famous Knights of Miniature. Huh? I thought you only watch documentaries. His works are based on real life events. They are worth referencing. Well, let me see what the script for this scene says. The examiner hmm, presides over the exam as the family tunes the students to discover their talents within their soul's melody. Oh. Boring. I'm changing the directions of this scene. Cast members of the family? That's a wrap for you. W what? But tuning is the most important segment of the tuning test. Huh? Miss Sedina. In your 13 years and four months of teaching, you've committed seven counts of academic fraud. It seems your laziness has turned your artistic integrity into a pile of decaying film. What? Uh, academic fraud? What are you talking about? This scene will determine the students' very futures. Yet your academy would have me produce such sloth. It's no wonder the Iris family hasn't produced a good film in centuries. Uh, enough! You're only here as an examiner because of the acting dean. You can't dictate what we do. A according to academy regulations... According to academy regulations. Think carefully now. What do the academy regulations say exactly the academy regulations very clearly state that the examiner's word is law in the examination room so wait but you're the examiner what's going on here good you finally connected the dots on my set the director's word is law uh, huh? Members of the cast, I've reached a consensus with the producers. This exam shall now be an audition. Are you ready? I will surely find the perfect role for you. Uh, Mr. Rekka is so amazing. He convinced the family so easily. That family member's reaction was strange. It's as if she suddenly changed her mind. You mean the academic fraud Mr. Rekka mentioned? I can't believe that sort of thing happens in Paperful University, too. Hey, student with the gray hair! It's your turn! Go to the performing arts classroom. Uh, it's finally your turn! 
Hurry and go! If you finish early, don't forget to tell us how it went! To the audition. The audition process is simple. You need only answer a few questions. Of course, I won't be judging based on your answers alone. I will be watching your every move on camera. I know you're Pentagoni's festive superstar, so I expect you to show me what you're made of. Scene one, take one, action. Hmm. Oh, this doesn't look right. Cut! Assistant director, change the scene, please. Okay, that'll do. Oh, here. Perfect! You're born to be a performer! You're welcome. And you're very polite. Good etiquette can get you far in this industry. Now, for the first question, please introduce yourself. <laughs> Joking with the examiner during an exam with a desire to perform. Okay, second question. What are you most proud of about yourself? Oh, I get what you mean. The ability to not shy away from danger can bring great value when filmmaking. Now, for the third question. I'll let her do the honors. This is my assistant director, a reliable partner who's skilled at cinematography, script supervising, editing, and more. Has a better eye than me when it comes to casting performers. Mmm, a very perceptive question. <laughs> How do you respond? Oh, you were tactful in the face of someone making things difficult for you. However, the assistant director doesn't like to be praised for her appearance. Fine. Pretend I didn't say anything. She's very happy with your praise. Now, the final question. Nameless, your memory began on board a station of erudition where you then boarded a train of trailblazers. In your journey, you witnessed the will of preservation, the determination of the hunt, and the dispute between harmony and order. You ran across many different sets and witnessed many different stories. Did you find a theme, or perhaps a dream, that belongs solely It's only natural for a director to familiarize himself with the performer's resume before an audition. I see. Congratulations on having a clear goal. Your film will surely be a hit in the box office. Cut! You have finished your exam. Let's take a look at your results. Most of your answers were clever, 
like an astute producer. Combined with your experience in dealing with the Interastral Peace Corporation, the best academy for you is Fortune Academy. What do you think? Are you satisfied with your result? grateful you're willing to listen to your director's suggestions. It's truly an honor. The audition is over. You are now a student of Fortune Academy. Here is your student card. Campus is stirring. This is where your story begins. Don't disappoint me or the audience now, my dear leading character. Leading character? Drama? This Mr. Rekka says some strange things. My exam is over. I'll wait for March 7th. The assignment? Of course I did. He was all serious when he said I would encounter a future full of dramatic tension in Dreamweaver Academy. It made me really curious. Uh, it's no skin off my back anyway. So I thought I'd give it a shot. What about you two? What academy? Whoa, I heard lots of rich people come from Fortune Academy. Old classmate, don't forget me once you're rich. I'll be going to Charmony Academy. Oh my, I didn't know you had dreams of stardom, Don Hung. <clears throat> it's because Mr. Rekka insisted. He's also a guest lecturer at Charmony Academy. It didn't feel right to refuse. All right, all right, I get it. You won over the big bad director with your superstar aura. You don't have to show off. Anyway, we're finally done with the admission process. Let's go check out the anniversary. How about we start with the creator's market that Montana mentioned? Oh, by the way, Mr. Rekka asked me about Bellabog. How did he know about that? He also asked about the Xianzhou Alliance. Hmm. Maybe he saw it in the admission documents Himiko submitted. But why did she have to mention that I broke the synthesizer?
Thank you. Uh, I'm the club president, Shalika. Oh, did you? I don't really chat. So, how much for these desserts? No, but we're hosting a Dreamscape Patissier Challenge. Students can choose from the ingredients provided by the dessert club and design their own banana pie. Banana pie? Because of Slumber Nana Monkey's popularity, all kinds of banana dishes have become popular. Please, give it a try. Well, in that case, you can do the design while Don Han makes the dessert. What about you? I'll be the taste tester, of course. You got this. The first thing you must choose for your dessert is the banana. There are three types. The sour jade green banana from the Van Wok rainforests, the intense bloodthorn banana, commonly used as seasoning, and the extinct golden slumber banana that was once popular across the universe, but now only exists in sweet dreams. Next, we'll add some emotions to give the dessert its unique texture. This is also a feature unique to dreamscape cooking. Finally, for added flavor, we have Penacone Sweet Dream Icing as Donna's Specialty Cinnamon and the Hotel's Special Chili Sauce. Um, why is there chili sauce? Because Paperfold University students come from many different planets. One of the members said they dip everything in chili back at home. The banana pie is complete. I'll start baking. Oh, it looks good. Time for the taste test. Hmm, it's sour and sweet and has the scent of nature. Oh, this dessert is so tasty. I feel so happy. I can still taste the sweetness on my tongue after eating it. Awesome! <laughs> Looks like March 7th feels very strongly about your cooking. <laughs> it feels good when you create something that touches another person's heart, whether it's desserts or weaving dreams. You're a senior in Dreamweaver Academy? I'll be going there too! I'll be sure to ask if I have questions. Questions? Uh, uh, I'm not that good. You should ask them in dreamweaving class. Huh? No, nothing. Feel free to visit the other booths. <laughs> I hope you have a good time. Oh, uh, look! It's Slumber Nana Monkey. Oh, uh, welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to the Toys and Models Club. Oh, it's you guys. I, I'm Dylan Richie from the group chat. You can call me Richie. You know us? Of course. You're the festive superstar, the nameless and Panacone shareholders. Don't underestimate Fortune Academy's intelligence network. The paper fold forums were filled with the latest scoops before you even walked through the school gates. Someone with your eminent status must have a keen eye for consumer products. So, let me introduce you to the Toys and Models Club's bestseller, the Slumber Nana Monkey Figurine! Behold, the intelligence in its eyes, its soft, lustrous fur, and its lifelike appearance. It's just like having the real Slumber Nana Monkey. Banana Nana! Banana Nana! The toy talks? 
This is the dreamscape. A regular toy won't draw the eyes of the consumer. So, Fortune Banana Advisor allowed me to add a little memoria to it. Look, isn't it as realistic as a memory zone meme? Well, I should let you know, there's only one left in stock, so act now and don't miss out. Only 8,800 alpha, alpha credits. It's duty free and has a six month warranty. We also support payment with credits. Ah, uh, you called it before me. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for your purchase. Um, now I can afford living expenses this month. Uh, hurry and give us the monkey already. <laughs> The demand is too high right now. The toys you see here are all pre-order samples. There's still some time before the products officially ship. It's customary for new products to be available for pre-orders only. My apologies. Don't worry. Once the product leaves the warehouse, I'll contact you. No! I'll personally deliver it to you. Uh, forget it. Let's visit the other booths. Huh? Why is there a crowd blocking the way? Uh, hi. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way? Wait. Don't go there. The disciplinary committee is searching for a student who broke school rules. Huh? Where's your school uniform? You're getting a demerit. New students? Then remember my face well. Be on your best behavior when I'm around. Wait, President. I've read about them on the paperfold forums. They're the Penacone shareholders who have come to visit. What? Penicone's shareholders? My friends, I was just kidding earlier. Please, you three can go wherever you like. If the booths up ahead aren't enough, why don't you come visit my dorm? Or my home? Ugh, this one's attitude changed faster than the people you use clockwork on. Uh, what's going on with the student who broke school rules? <sighs> There's someone acting suspiciously and leaving graffiti on campus. They're dressed oddly, wearing a glowing scarf and speaking nonsense. an accomplice.
shouldn't that arouse your suspicion? My meeting with Ninja Initiate Gagaku is purely happenstance, but I did not come here alone. These nameless ninjas are also my companions. Uh, do you know her? So she's a friend of the shareholders. That explains her behavior. Hey, what do you mean by that? Since you're a visitor, I'll let you off this once. Don't break school rules again. school uniform, or it's a demerit. Huh? Baseball Bat Ninja, it is good to see you again. This must be a fated reunion. It is a pleasure to meet both of you as well, nameless ninjas. I am Rappa, a.k.a. the Dazzling Ninja. Nameless Ninjas? Are you talking about the nameless? Well, we have names, you know. I'm March 7th, and he's Don Hung. What strong names! Greetings, Ninja Ruri and Ninja Hiryu! Uh... Um, my name is Don Hung. Understood, Ninja Hiryu Aoi Don Hung. <laughs> um... She's taking this really seriously. Is this what people call Junibio? Strange things happen across the cosmos. Maybe a Ninja 2 planet does exist. Is she the ninja you saw in your dream? Indeed. Baseball Bat Ninja and I are comrades who will risk life and limb for one another. We were besieged in the Fiendling Fantasia and survived together. Uh, it's not nice to eavesdrop on conversations. A ninja super hearing can capture even the death of a proton. You spoke loudly before me. I wasn't eavesdropping. You claim to be our companion? So, it's only reasonable to ask that you state your identity and purpose. Of course. That is exactly why I'm here. But before that, there is still justice to be upheld. I must prioritize assisting that cause. Uh, stupid student council! This is discrimination! Gigaku, what ails you? Stop calling me by the name of my character. Use my stage name, Nana Blue John. Referring to the flowers that bloom on banana trees. They're really pretty. You know, I just realized how high caliber our new students are this year. Please, you absolutely must take part in the Performing Arts Club's Paperfold University Superstar Project Photography Challenge! Uh, that's... a really long name. This challenge requires you to take on the role of celebrity models. You'll choose a photographer who will take a photo that meets our requirements. We'll then print it into a photo book and send it to you. That sounds great! Let's take some photos together! If it is a trial prepared by Ninja Nishigigaku, I see no reason to refuse. Great! Now choose a photographer among yourselves. This challenge will put the photographer's skills to the test more than the models. Uh, I've never taken photos of other people before. It might be better if you do it. Then you're in charge of photography. Good luck! <gasps> Let's use the Slumber Nana Monkey toy! All right, make sure you get all the models and the Slumber Nana Monkey in the shop.
baseball bat ninja. Your photo ninjutsu is exquisite. Huh, I envy how photogenic you all are. I want to be one of the stars featured in the Scorch Sand audition too. Forget it. Let's not talk about such depressing topics in the middle of festivities. Here's your photo book. Have fun! <sighs> no one will bother us anymore. Tell me, why have you been following us all this time? Very astute. It appears you have ninja super hearing too. However, following you was a mere coincidence. My purpose for coming here is to set up dazzling ninja seals across the campus in order to dispel the evil ninja's matrix. Seals? Oh, the graffiti the student from the disciplinary committee was talking about. Cause and effect is a wondrous thing. It allowed me to reunite with you, the nameless ninjas. Ninja Hiryu may not recognize me, but he must remember my colleague. A ninja hero clad in silver armor. He has a bold, easy confidence, is proficient in the use of bullet ninjutsu, and frequently spouts sweet and melodious words. Supergun Shura! Is it... Boot Hill? Precisely. Does that mean you're also a Galaxy Ranger? Of course. I didn't want to cause a misunderstanding, so I emphasize the title, Ninja Hero! They both mean the same thing? Well, so we now know who checked into the hotel. Uh, but why are the Galaxy Rangers revisiting the dreamscape? Ninja Hiryu. You and your companions are all elite ninjas who follow the true teachings of Trailblaze. You should know in the Cosmic Ninja Room, there are many extraordinary individuals like me, but also evil ninjas. So long as the evil ninja still lives, danger that requires the presence of us ninja heroes will never cease. The reason I visit Penikami is to hunt down one such scoundrel. He wreaks havoc across the universe with his feelings in tow. He is the enemy of the ninja capital and my arch enemy, evil ninja Osaru. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you know what she's talking about? <sighs> this is troubling. If she really is a ranger, we have to take her story seriously. Perhaps something has happened in Penacone. The situation isn't clear. We shouldn't act rashly. After all, we're currently here as guest students. It would help if we could get in touch with Boot Hill. I wonder where he is. Sure enough, when I came to, my mind was whispering. Hatred is the frailty of the weak. That's when it hit me. I've got a mind that's still alive. But, if you ask me, my muddle fudging brain ain't the boss of me. <laughs> How'd I end up here? Huh? Is there something the matter with them? Nah, it ain't like that. 
These uh, little sweet drinks taste pretty good. Ordering a bunch is just a habit of mine. No need to worry, lady. You'll know soon enough. I'm heading out to take care of some business. Uh, uh, keep these safe for me. I get I'm supposed to be helping Rapper, but I don't see anything strange going on here. <laughs>